Hi everybody. In this session, we are going to discuss the convergence or divergence of an oscillatory sequence. <coughs> You clearly know alternate uh, oscillating series means one term will be positive, next term will be negative, next will be positive, it will be oscillating. So it even first term can be negative, second is positive, third is negative, fourth is positive, like that it will go on. So we are going to discuss the convergence or divergence of an oscillatory series. Okay. For this, we are going to use Leibniz test. The test has two steps. The first step is you are supposed to check u1 is more than u2, more than u3, etc. Means only numerically. Please be careful because there is no meaning in comparing when one term is positive and one term is negative. Okay. So numerically just take u1, u2, etc. And you need to compare the first term with the second term with the third term, etc. So generally we will be doing un greater than un plus 1 we will be checking that is all because u2 is greater than u3 means un is greater than un plus 1. After we do this once this is satisfied numerically is very important once this is satisfied the second step is very easy limit n times to infinity un you will calculate if this is 0 the series is convergent. And if this is not equal to 0, according to Leibniz test, the series is oscillatory. So, there are two steps in this. One is un greater than un plus 1 we are going to check. So, for that basically we will be doing un plus 1 minus un we will do. So, this is a smaller quantity, this is a bigger quantity. So, when you subtract this, this will become less than 0. So, we are going to check that and that is only numerically we are going to check that. And second is limit n tends to infinity, what happens to u n? If it is 0, the series is convergent, any other number, positive, negative, anything or infinity or whatever, the series is oscillatory. Okay? Now, let us do few examples in this. So, in the oscillatory series, we are going to do Leibniz test. Okay, we will do few examples. First, test the convergence of 1, sorry, 2 minus 3 by 2 plus 4 by 3 minus 5 by 4 plus etc. This has appeared in Anna University uh, 2012 question paper. So, we are going to find out the nth term, we are going to find out the n plus 1th term and then we are going to compare un plus 1 minus un, what is the answer? After that, we are going to find limit n tends to infinity, what happens to un, okay? So, as <coughs> you have to write un, just look at the numbers in the numerator. This I can write it as 2 over 1. If you look at it, you know 2, 3, 4, 5, like that it goes on. So, the first term is 2, therefore it is going to be n plus 1. So, when, I, when you put n is 1, you get 2, when you put n is 2, you get 3, when you put n is 3, you get 4 and it goes on. Coming to the denominator, you can see denominator, each term is 1 smaller than the numerator. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so it is going to be n, even otherwise we know 1, 2, 3, 4 means nth term is going to be n. So, I have written u n now. How do I write u n plus 1? All n should be replaced by n plus 1. That is all. Be very careful. n plus 1. This n is replaced by n plus 1. I just replaced plus 1 divided by this is n plus 1 which is nothing but n plus 2 divided by n plus 1. One. So, what is the first step in Leibniz test? You are supposed to subtract these two and then check whether it is less than, z less than 1, sorry, less than 0 or more than 0. So, we are going to check un plus 1 minus un. So, what is un plus 1? It is very simple. 
n plus 2 by n plus 1 minus n plus 1 divided by n. You have to take LCM carefully and when there is a minus, be careful with the negative sign. Okay. So, you know the LCM is going to be n into n plus 1. So, this will be multiplied by n, n into n plus 2 minus this term will be multiplied by n plus 1. So, minus n plus 1 times n plus 1. Now I am going to expand this n square plus 2n minus this is a n, my n plus 1 the whole square. So I can say n square plus 2n plus 1 divided by n into n plus 1. Always remember n is positive because it is the term of the series t1, t2, t3 like that. So n starts from 1 to 3 onwards. So it is a positive number. So, be, be careful and write this bracket, otherwise you will miss out with this minus sign. So, this is n square plus 2n minus n square minus 2n minus 1 divided by n into n plus 1. You know this n square and n square cancels and this 2n will cancel with this 2n and you are left out with negative 1 over n into n plus 1 and you know denominator is positive always because n takes values 1, 2, 3 onwards positive and because minus 1 is there this is less than 1. So, we have done the first step of Leibniz test means the this term is smaller than this term okay. You cannot compare it here you have to compare it only with the nth term okay because looking at it you know one and a half is smaller than two but you cannot be saying that because that is just for the first two terms. You need to do u n plus 1, u n and then check. Now once the first step is over it is very simple I have to just check n tends to infinity what happens to this okay. <coughs> so I am just having the nth term here. Now my second step, this is my second step. So this is limit n tends to infinity u n. So limit n tends to infinity u n will be limit n tends to infinity n plus 1 divided by n which is nothing but limit n tends to infinity take the highest power of n from the numerator as well as the denominator. So, numerator I took off, actually there is nothing in the denominator, so I write it as it is. So, this n gets cancelled. So, what is your answer here? It is 1 plus 1 by 0 because 1 stays as it is, 1 by infinity is 0, you know that. So, 1 plus 0, sorry, 1 plus 1 by infinity, um, I repeat that. Limit n tends to infinity. When n goes to infinity, this becomes 1 by infinity, which is 0. So, this is nothing but 1 plus 0, which is 1. You know this is not equal to 0 very clearly. Therefore, the given series oscillates. You cannot say it is convergent and <coughs> because this value is not equal to 0. Okay. So, you will conclude the series oscillates. and does not converge. Okay. So, this is how using Leibniz test you are going to identify whether the series is convergent or not. Okay. We will do two more problems in this. We are going to test the convergence of 1 minus 1 by root 3 plus 4 minus 1 by root 5 minus 1 by root 7 plus 1 by root 9 minus etc. This has appeared in an university May 2013 paper. So now you have got the series now and you can see the terms are oscillating. Okay. Now we are going to write the nth term. <coughs> so, what is the nth term here? Numerator is all 1. Okay? Please remember numerically the nth term. So, we do not care about the sign when you do this calculation. So, this is your first step. So, what is your un 1 over root of? So, this I can say it as root 1. Okay? And you know 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 means it is all odd numbers starting from 1. So, this is nothing but 2n minus 
one. So you can remember one. Two four six eight means you will say two n. Three five seven nine means you will say two n plus one. And now I am going to write two n plus one. As I told you in the previous example, in n place you need to just put n plus one to get the u n plus one theta. Okay. So this is nothing but one by square root of two n plus two minus two n, which is nothing but one by square root of. I repeat. So when you want to write u n plus one, you just need to replace n by n plus one. So this is two into n plus one. So this becomes two n plus two minus one, and two minus one is one. So you get the answer as two n plus one. So now I found u n. I found u n plus one. Now I just have to subtract and check if <coughs> this is more or I mean how what happens to the subtraction. U n plus one minus u n. Is nothing but one by square root of two n plus one minus one by square root of two n minus one. That is your u n. This is your u n plus one. Okay, two n minus one. So now we take the LCM. This becomes square root of two n minus one minus square root of two n plus one divided by square root of two n plus one times square root of Two n minus one. Just look at it. You know denominator is positive. Clearly we know because n is one, two, three, etc. Any value after one only means one and above only it can take. Now coming to this part, two n minus one is definitely smaller than two n plus one because from two n you are subtracting one here, but to two n you are adding one here. Okay, so this term is a bigger one. So when you subtract a smaller number. Small, sorry. When you subtract a bigger number from the smaller number, your answer is going to be less than zero. So your first part of Leibniz test is checked. Means this term is smaller than this term. Once again, you can look at it and check for yourself. This is one by three. This is one by root seven. You know this is smaller. Correct? Okay. So <coughs> just always think when you get the answers. Always go back to the question and just just think whether you have done it correctly. Okay. Now your last second step in Leibniz equation. You are going to find limit n tends to infinity u n. So let us do what is limit n tends to infinity u n, which is nothing but u n is this is your u n. One divided by square root of two n minus one. So this is one divided by square root of two n minus one. For this, you are going to check what happens. Limit n tends to infinity. Okay. As usual, take the highest power out. Okay. So this is limit n tends to infinity one by square root of n into square root of two minus one by n. You know. When n goes to infinity, one by root n goes to zero, and two minus this also becomes zero. So this is <coughs> zero times one by square root of two minus zero, which is zero. So what happens now? Each each the next the next term is smaller than the previous term, and the limit n tends to infinity. U n also goes to zero. By Leibniz test, the given series is convergent. Okay, so you can say from one and two by Leibniz test, the series is convergent. Always remember two things when you do Leibniz test. One is take the numerical value for doing u n and u n plus one. Do not take the um, with the sign. Okay. From one and two by Leibniz test, the given series is convergent. In our example, la ma. Fourteen eight. So last kutti samna. Or a small sample. Then I won't do that. So in the erase pantra thala, idu pani di vingal na.
So we'll do one more example, which is using logarithmic series. Okay. So you are going to check the convergence of 1 by log 2 minus 1 over log 3 plus 1 over log 4 minus etc. Okay. Uh, basically, you know um, log 2 value will be smaller than log 3 value and because it is in the denominator I know it will satisfy the Leibniz test and remember all the questions we did in Leibniz series is sorry using Leibniz test is each term is positive negative it is alternating basically Leibniz test is used to check the convergence of an oscillatory series alone okay so now let us write un which is the first step what is un First term is log 2 is here. Second term means 3 is here. So 1 by third term means 4. So nth term means n plus 1. Means 1 more than the term. First term means 2. Second term means 3. Third term means 4. So nth term will be n plus 1. 1 more than that. Okay. And what is u n plus 1? u n plus 1 is as you know n should be replaced by n plus 1. So this is nothing but 1 by log of n plus 2. So we calculated u n, we calculated u n plus 1. Now just I have to subtract and check whether they, it is greater than 0 or less than 0. Okay. So u n plus 1 minus u n is 1 by log of n plus 2 minus 1 by log of n plus 2. 1. When you want to subtract them, you will take NCM. So, this is log of n plus 2. Sorry. The NCM is log of n plus 2 times log of n plus 1. And this is log of n plus 1 minus log of n plus 2. And the denominator is positive. So, we are going to check the numerator. And you know log 2 is smaller than 1. So, log 2 will be smaller than log 1. Basically, you know log 1 is 0. Okay. So, same way. Sorry. So, the bit. 2 is more than 1. So, log 2 will be more than log 1. Basically, log 1 is 0. You can remember that. But, log 2 is more than log 1. And, <coughs> therefore, this, this is bigger. Okay. So, this will be bigger. This is a smaller number. So, your answer is less than 0. So, the first step of Leibniz test is satisfied. Now, we move on to the second step, which is a very simple step. Limit n tends to infinity u n. What is limit n tends to infinity u n? u n is 1 by log of n plus 1. As we discussed the logarithmic graph already, you know your logarithmic graph is going to be like this, correct? And when n goes on increasing, the function's value also goes on increasing. So when n tends to infinity, new denominator become new, huge and therefore this will be equal to 0. Means 1 divided by a huge number is 0. So both the tests of Leib both the steps of Leibniz test are satisfied. Therefore, the given series is convergent. Okay. The given series is convergent by you can say step 1 and step 2 because both the steps need to be satisfied. Okay. Thank you. Great. Sorry, I'm going